Hey everyone, it's Faiz Ali from All Things Mobile, and today I'll be doing a quick demonstration of BlackBerry Bridge 2.0. BlackBerry Bridge 2.0 came out at the around the same time as uh, BlackBerry Playbook OS 2.0. So let's get started here. We've got our BlackBerry Curve 360. I'll lock it, and you can see here we've already got Bridge activated. There we go with that icon. We just find BlackBerry Bridge, and you guys can see that you have a new option now called use remote control uh, and I could use remote control and what that does is it basically acts as a cursor for my playbook you can see my playbook just uh, woke up out of standby there so we'll get that to focus and you can see there's a little cursor on my playbook screen so I could control all the functions of the playbook through this through this uh, this a bridge functionality called BlackBerry Remote. This is what they call it. Even the gesture controls do work. And you press Alt, hold, press and hold Alt, and go up and down on the trackpad to scroll. Although it's not as smooth as you know just doing this, right? But it gets the job done fairly nicely. And we will close that. Another thing is that if you have a touchscreen BlackBerry, this one happens not to be a touchscreen BlackBerry, but if you have a BlackBerry that has a touchscreen, you will see a rectangle or yeah, a rectangle. And on the outside edges, it'll actually be the bezel control. So for example, if you had a Bold 9900 or a Bold 9790 or a Torch 9800 or whatnot, you'd have a place where you could literally just swipe down or swipe up to do the gesture control so you have a nice gesture area. If you have a BlackBerry that's keyboard only like the Curve series here, you could still access the uh, bezel gestures so no need to worry about that. And you can actually launch an application so we could go ahead and launch the browser here. And you guys can see that that just loads up. But we can go to our website here, atmobile.ca and we are running on our Wi-Fi network here so oops. Uh, and the same uh, applies here so bottom brings up the multitasking view go back into the application press and hold alt to um, scroll and what's unique is you guys can see that on our page there's mouse over functionality so if you have your mouse over certain um, elements it will it will populate a list and traditionally on the playbook It'd be a little bit finicky because you'd ha on any type of touchscreen, you'd actually have to tap and hold, and then tap and hold, and then quickly select what you want to do if you want to go that route. But with this, it just makes it easier because the mouse over functionality does work on on anything basically now. So you guys can see that it is working. So that's one thing. That's just the browser, and the top bezel adjuster does work as well. Same idea. If you've got a touchscreen BlackBerry, you just swipe down. All the uh, multitasking gestures do work. Left, that was left. Uh, this is right. Back up and back up again. So that does work. Um, and that's just the uh, basic functionality control. You could, there's also another mode where you press the BlackBerry key and you find presenter, presenter, presenter. There you go, presenter. And uh, yes, this could be used as a PowerPoint presenter. So that. That's pretty cool because if you've got this hooked up via HDMI and you want to give a PowerPoint presentation, no need to worry about having the uh, like the clickers. You can have this with you, and you could use these keys again. If you have a touchscreen BlackBerry, these will you know you could tap them to advance the slides. But if you've got a Curve a series or a BlackBerry that doesn't have a touchscreen, you could either use a trackpad to just click next, previous, or you could use uh, the the up and down. So up being the next slide down being the previous slide and that's uh, it gives you that tip here volume keys also uh, switch slides so that's very handy now there's another feature actually within uh, this and that's going to if we go into the browser here and we've got let's see we've got a page open here uh, and we can actually go to view on playbook and what that does is that we'll open up the browser, it activates, activates the remote, opens up the browser, 
and um, lets you go to that page you were on through your BlackBerry. So, kind of neat. I think it's pretty cool if you're uh, just browsing. If you have a movie you've loaded onto your playbook and you're using the micro HDMI functionality, it's great to just have this around so you can control it pretty easily and you don't have to. And if you've got a BlackBerry already, uh, then you really don't, you're not buying anything extra or, or whatnot. So, that works out nicely. And that's just about it for the BlackBerry Bridge 2.0. So it's pretty cool functionality. It lets you use your BlackBerry phone as a remote. And also this does uh, this uses the Bluetooth HID profile, which um, people have been really eager and they couldn't wait when the OS 2.0 was gonna launch and this dropped like a day before it. So it was fun to see people controlling their uh, PS3s with their BlackBerry. So it's, it's a kind of neat feature. I think it's pretty nice just to have around. So I'm Faze Ali for All Things Mobile. I'll see you guys in the next video.